St. Elizabeth will have a team in the nation's top flight football competition for the first time in over 40 years, while Limehall Academy will have a second stint as both teams qualified for next season's JPL after contrasting semi-final victories on Sunday. Denise Walters reports. Lime Hall Academy defeated Racing United 4-1 penalties after a 4-all aggregate scoreline. DeAndre Johnson went from hero to villain as he missed Racing's final kick to send Lime Hall into wild celebrations. Incidentally, it was Johnson's 60th minute goal that gave Racing the 2-1 victory, sending the game into extra time. A 21st minute opener from Raheem Edwards put Racing ahead before Imani Beckford equalized 10 minutes later. This will be Lime Hall's second stint in the Premier League after qualifying as Benfica in 2009 and they join current Premier League champions Mount Pleasant Academy as the teams from the Garden Parish in the league. Alfred Barnett was also the coach in 2009. We have travelled a long road but I can say the easy part is over. Now comes the hard part. You have to have a solid foundation um, financially to start with. Because we know that the players that brought us here is not everybody going to enter the promised land. I think um, we, 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 we give it our all. The youngsters give it their all. Um, we're just unfortunate, you know, we're losing the, the penalty shoot up. I must say, can't get the line all. We just have to regroup and, 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 and build and wait and wait and, and the, the tier two to come around back next season. Meanwhile, St. Elizabeth's long wait for a team in the nation's top flight ended with the Treasure Beach advance in 2-0 on aggregate after playing out a nil-all draw with the True Juice at the Bramwell Clarks Sports Complex. And I just knew that when we joined forces with Stets, it was going to mean something different. And I don't know if there's any other team out there that has six of their players coming from high school, right? But that means a lot to us because we have a young team. Chojo's played with 10 men as captain Tidy Kwan Wedderburn was sent off in the third minute for striking an opponent. Yeah, it's the real the whole plan, you know, to really receive a red card three minutes in the game from your captain, you know. But that's after the players, I think we stand up. We play, we play well, we have more possession, I ball. Denise Walters for TVJ Sports.